Hello friends, this is Arun and welcome in my channel of Arun's Creation. Today I will teach you how to get a HDR image from a normal image and this is the before and this is after and you can see a huge difference in both images. So I will process this image uh, in firstly Photomatix Pro then uh, Lightroom then this will I will get the result from this normal image. So firstly I have uh, three images I will show you. This is normal exposure, this is underexpose and this is overexpose image. Now I have three images. Now I will close it. Now I will go to Photomatix Pro. Uh, this is the first window for Photomatix Pro. Then uh, I will click on load bracket photos. Now browse for the images. Now select three image. Click on open. Click on open and uh, then click on ok and unmark this if you mark this then your computer configuration should be very high so i will unmark this then click on ok then you will have these options one is align source images that i want that strictly i want to align all images reduce ghost thing if artificial effect reduce noise and reduce chromatic abrasion if you click all these make sure you can computer configuration should be very high so click on ok otherwise if you don't have a very high configuration then unmark these three options then make sure to mark this align source images now I will mark this now click on ok now it will process the image and it will import the image in the Photomatix Pro now it will take time because uh, it is very heavy command uh, three commands are four commands are working first is alignment then chromatic abrasion then uh, uh, noise reduction then it will ask for deghosting then click on ok It's really a very heavy command so that's why it's taking time now this is the first screen for uh, Photomatix Pro and these are the presets so firstly I, I will tell you there are two types of uh, announcement one is detail announcer and another one is tone compressor now I will find out firstly detail and answer these are the predefined effect uh, done by Photomatix Pro I will check one by one which I will like then I will add it okay. now I will check this compressor so I think this one is better this is too much Our details are very high in this preview so I will try this so this one is ok now click on it now I will change some values in it Now these these are the values. Then you can change and you can play all will 
all these values one is strength then color saturation then luminosity then micro contrast then I will try this Uh, now mid one is okay mm. these are the, these are the white points and uh, these are the black points and I want very high contrast image this is all about playing with all settings so I'm getting a desired result color setting mm, temperature I will try no I don't want any change in temperature I don't want any smoothing then uh, click on process now I will save it but file then save as uh, then there are two options one is uh, TIFF 16 bit 8 bit or JPEG I want uh, TIFF 16 bit click on save so friends I have imported this image and uh, you can see this so this is the image and uh, I have processed this image in the photomatics pro then I will use this image in the Lightroom to make further announcement to this image now I'm in the Lightroom 5 and uh, this image that is processed in uh, Photomatix Pro now I have import this image in the Lightroom 5 so I will change here some settings uh, I want vibrance very high and then contrast I want to boost now control the highlights these highlights uh, white points I want to increase that's nice mm. okay I want clarity so this is the difference this is before and this is after mm, further I want to boost this red portion now boost the luminosity for red and uh, increase its saturation now I want vignetting to get focus in the center ok minus 10 and uh, moreover I will boost the sharpness boost the radius 1.5 that's nice Mm, now I will try last exposure uh, highlights uh, minus 100 then I will again boost contrast that's nice this is before and uh, this is after so this is the final result I have got in the Lightroom and uh, if I want to make further announcement to this image then one one of uh, my favorite that is uh, from Nick software then uh, detail and answer then you can apply that plugin on this image and I will show you before and after mm, now I will import this image with file then export 